while every single spell level has some very good spells and some very bad spells, they're not really all created equally. So I'm going to be putting the actual spell levels into a tier list. Things I will be taking into account for this tier list is do the lower level spells, which I'm really considering to be level 1, 2 and 3. Do they remain useful throughout the game, the whole game? And for the high level spells, or 5 and 6, more 5 and 6 really, is it better to actually upcast these lower level spells? Secondly, the percentage of concentration spells within the spell level, where higher is makes it worse. The number of ritual spells, where higher is better. And generally, the spell selection. Are there many good spells and is there a good variety of effects? Of course, as always, this is just my casual opinion. Please do tell me how yours differ. So starting with cantrips. Cantrips are unique here in that they do not require any resources. You can cast them again and again and again and again and again and again and again for free. One nice thing about cantrips, and actually what I'll, I'll be doing is showing you this page from the Baldur's Gate 3 wiki, the fan-made wiki, the community wiki, which I would heavily suggest you use for your information. It's been getting way, way better over time. It's got lots and lots of accurate information constantly updated. It's a lovely source of information. And from here, I have calculated the percentage of concentration spells within each spell level using the information from this page. And for cantrips, it's actually pretty much the lowest at 27%. It's actually very low. And lots of these spells actually do stay relevant throughout the whole game. Guidance is amazing. Some of these spells that I will be going through, you might get more or less use out of them depending on your difficulty now this has been recorded at the beginning of patch 5 the introduction of honor mode and custom mode the damaging spells do get stronger as we level up to 5 and 10 which is pretty cool obviously they're never going to be the highest damaging spells but there is a wide variety of effects lots of utility like for example guidance is useful throughout the entire game friends is actually really good even though it says that higher difficulties might cause some problems in Tactician at least. I haven't really had much use of it in Honor Mode. But in Tactician, actually, I've had very few people come and accuse me of using friends. So we're starting off strong here. Starting off with cantrips up in S tier. Just because of the fact there's a wide range of spells. Very low number of them are concentration. And we don't need to use a spell slot to use them. We can use them again and again. Now on to level 1. This first spells that actually use some resources. Level 1 spell slot. One nice thing about the level 1 spells is that we do get the highest number of, love of spell slots for level 1. And so looking at this list here. We've got the highest number of spells available out of any spell level. The total number of spells is 52 here. Obviously not for a single character. It does depend on your class. Some classes have more than others available to them. The number of concentration spells or percentage of concentration spells is 35%. And actually compared to, apart from cantrips, and I guess the level 9 spells, this is still very low, which is nice. So some good things about the level 1 spells is some of them really can and do remain useful throughout the whole game. Bless. Great buff unfortunately concentration i have upcast command many 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 times create and destroy water is great for setting up extra damage for lightning and cold spells healing word lets me get people up who are down we've got six ritual spells the most of any spell level but the kind of downside is that the spells that cause damage not many of them upcast particularly well like chromatic orb isn't that great to upcast to be honest I wouldn't upcast hail of thorns Ice Knife kind of falls off a bit, so not all of them are great for upcasting, like Rare of Sickness also, but I mean, saying that, I really, really do like the level 1 spells, and I always have some ready, and as you level up, they go, you generally, I find I've got more of the support, utility, control spells, rather than the damaging spells, solid A tier, great picks, we've got lots of ritual spells, some of the spells really do fall off as we level up. All right, time for level two. The total number of spells here, 41. Not including protection from missiles because nobody can actually learn that spell. It is from an item only. I'm not. I'm only counting the spells that we can actually learn. The number of spells that require concentration is 22. So we have a percentage of 54%. This is all rounded to the nearest whole number. And this is the kind of the downfall for the level two spells. Not that they're bad. We've got, again, we've got some lovely kind of utility spells, control spells. We've got aid, amazing, whole person, one of the top control spells basically misty step is always going to be useful so we do have some really useful spells we've got a couple of ritual spells detect thoughts and silence enhance ability is great for outside of combat but a bit like with the level one spells some of these i don't upcast i the opportunity cost of using let's say blindness when we're at higher levels, I could cast Blindness, or maybe I could cast one of these other really strong spells. I'm probably going to be start to casting the higher spells. What I don't like about the level 2 spells is the number of concentration spells, especially if you're a druid. I mean, oh my gosh. You've got so many great spells as a druid, but so many of them are also concentration, and you just can't cast. For example, Spike Growth 
and heat metal and flaming sphere all at once even though at the level you get them they're all pretty pretty good so i don't find myself actually pairing very many level two spells at the end of the day for the let's say wizard cleric and druid and paladin because like there's kind of a few too many concentration spells and as i level up with the other classes i am actually forgetting some some level two spells to make way for some of the higher level spells but i mean b isn't so bad you know it's a solid solid spell level then we come to level three and there's just a massive spike in the number of great spells here compared to level two like the the power level of the level three spells is kind of through the roof especially from when you first get them at level five so for example some great spells yeah, anime dead really isn't that bad Cool lightning, counter spell, can save you so well in so many different uh, situations. Fireball, glyph of warding, haste. We'll note though that there are some changes. So for example, as I said about difficulties, in honor modes, haste isn't as good as it would be in the other difficulties because now you can only have one extra attack rather than like the multi-attack if you're like a level five martial class or like a level 11 fighter or something. Still a very good spell. Now the percentage of concentration spells here is 47%, which is kind of on the higher end. But I would argue that lots of these spells are actually some of the best concentration spells you can cast. Haste for example, is absolutely amazing. For druids, cool lightning, if you've, especially if you've got some wet enemies around, is pretty good. Spirit guardians for a cleric. Hunger of Hadar for your warlocks. Slow isn't a bad spell at all. Like These are some of the best concentration spells you can get like in terms of bang for your buck. In terms of it's a level 3 spell slot kind of only. So I've been praising it a lot. I think up to S tier. Just the power spike. The concentration spells there are some of the best concentration spells. And we've got counter spell. Yeah, we, we've just got so many useful spells. Revivify. Great spells to have. Then we come to level 4. And almost all of a sudden... It's kind of a massive drop in the number of total spells. The level 3, there were 34 spells in total, down from 41 from level 2, then drops down to 20. I'm just going to look ahead now. Then level 5 and level 6 tiers, we've got 19 and 19. So the top 3 tiers, excluding level 9, the top 3 level of spells, all of a sudden we don't have that variety we've had in the previous spell levels. Kind of very much drops off. And one thing I want to point out, this is... For clerics in particular. There are only four different level four spells they can prepare, which I, th I think is such a shame for clerics. Saying that, wizards, I don't know if I've had every single level four spell actually prepared on Gale here, but you know, I've got over half of them here prepared on him. Now, the, the percentage of concentration spells is 50%, 10 a concentration, 10 a not. And this is probably the first spell level where I'm kind of disappointed. Yes, there are some great spells, as I said at the beginning of the video. It's not that. There's no good spell in the level 4 spell list. We've got Wall of Fire, which is awesome. Ice Storm. Guardian of Faith may, might drop off a bit later. We've got some good Conjuration spells here. Many of the others are just not that good. Well, I just don't find myself wanting to cast many of these other spells. I mean, Grasping Vine and Blight. Maybe it's easy just to point out the bad spells, as it were. Dominate Beast. I don't find myself really casting Fire Shield that much for a level 4 spell slot. As at this point, I might start up casting some of my lower level spells. But the control spells here aren't aren't the worst i would say they've all got their own particular use and generally work on most monster types which is kind of in their favor but for me kind of c tier after you've got kind of a really really good spike in power the level three spells the level four spells i really do think are a disappointment all right on to level five yes we have 19 spells here and the percentage of concentration spells is 42 as things go it's kind of in the middle middle of the pack kind of in the lower end ish so it's not that bad. And so for me, the level 5 spells are really good in terms of their damage. Like the actual damaging spells. Artistry of War, Cloud Kill, Cone of Cold, and not Dethrone, really. Destructive Wave, Insect Plague, Flame Strike. Actually all really good. It's the control spells that I think let it down a bit. And by the control spells, I am talking about Dominate Person, Planar Binding, Hold Monster, kind of, I guess, Telekinesis. Is many of these are... Actually, Dom Banishing Smite doesn't that require concentration. Hmm. A bit too specific... To dominate person, I can target a single enemy. Why don't I just upcast a hold person? And I can hold, potentially, up to four people. Take four people out of the turn order and get critical hits against most of them. Hold monster, again, it's great. But actually, why don't I just use banishment? Get rid of them for a couple of turns. Maybe confusion from the lower levels. Or just use command. Command is such a good spell. Admittedly, command is only for one turn. So it's not like I will always use command. But the damaging spells are very good. If you know you're coming up to a specific situation where planar binding is useful. Actually, this is a really good spell level. So with a bit more preparation, a bit more forethought and foreknowledge, I think I'm going to put level 5 up into A tier. Then level 6. So we should expect some of the most powerful spells. These are the highest level spells that we can consistently cast and cast again and again after long rests so we should be expecting some strong spells and do you know what we really do get some amazing spells here blade barrier 
Chain Lightning. Crit and Dead's not bad. Globe of Invulnerability can basically save you completely. Hero's Feast, Otter Luke's Freezing Sphere, Planar Ally, some bit like so, so many good spells. It's really hard to even decide, choose which ones I want to prepare or learn. In terms of the percentage of concentration spells, it's at 47%, which is getting towards the higher end. But I would argue Blade Barrier is probably worth your concentration. Globe of Invulnerability, 100% worth your concentration. And the nice thing about the level 6 spells is kind of, yes, we only get one spell slot, but there are some, and I guess spoilers will be coming up in a way, in terms of items, we can get at least this, Micah Heshkir, which has Arcane Battery, so I can cast another level 6 spell later. There is the Staff of, oh, what is the Staff of Spell Power? I believe it comes from the House of Hope, has the same thing, Arcane Battery. We can actually cast anything for free. You're going to, you, you should be probably should be using it on your level six spells because they are the strongest so with some items there is a tadpole power that lets you free cast actually the fact we've only got one level six spell slot isn't that bad because we've got ways of casting spells for free and there's a nice wide range of spells here as well we've got some really good damaging spells some utility spells such as hero's feast globe of invulnerability and some you know, other interesting spells i bite wind walk in this in one way plain ally we've got a conjuration spell pretty good one as well i think uh, so actually up to s tier I really do like the level 6 spells. And then we come to level 9. There are only two spells that we can actually learn. So I'm not going to include any spells that might appear in the epilogue because they don't really affect the rest of the game or the gameplay. There are two spells that we can actually cast. We can get True Resurrection uh, as a scroll, but not as an actual spell that we can learn. And I'm going to stick it in C tier. I mean, they're both one use only. One's needed. One's okay, I suppose. If you want to know more about the spells in each tier list, I have created a tier list for each of the spell levels. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.